Hey guys, so um, today is January 23rd, which means it's been one month since I had my surgery. Um, today, in about oh, three hours, I'm going to go back into my epileptologist's office and he's going to review um, the data that my device uploads to his tablet and be able to figure out from there um, how to accommodate according to what my body has been feeling. Um, I sound really congested right now. I'm just stuffed. Um, I don't think I'm sick. I'm just really, really stuffed. So, sorry. Um, anyway, so a little bit of an update since we last spoke, because that's been two and a half weeks. And I say we, I mean I talk to you. Um, so the first couple days after the device was on, I noticed absolutely no seizures whatsoever. Um, but then they started slowly coming back um, as my body has been getting accustomed to the stimulation that my device is sending to my brain. Um, so I'm assuming today that the doctor will notice all of that and um, take the power up just a little bit. Um, Weird feelings that I felt in the midst of all of that. Um, the choking feeling that I talked about last time, I would experience that at least twice a day at random intervals. Because um, even though this device is going off every three minutes for 30 seconds, um, I would randomly feel it not every three minutes, like every couple of hours. Um, so I don't know what that was about. It was really annoying because I never knew when it would happen. Um, it would catch me off guard and I'd feel like I was being choked. Um, also throughout that time it's really hard to catch my breath no matter how much activity I'm doing. So I could be walking from my bed to the bathroom and get out of breath. It's gotten better over time but um, it's definitely weird being out of breath from walking 15 feet. Um, stairs are absolutely terrible. Um, I will get out of breath by the, like, by half a flight of stairs. Um, they're getting better, but I still get out of breath really easily. Um, and it takes me a while to get back, um, my breath from that. Um, so I <laughs> ended up going back to work last Tuesday, um, which was good. It was really tiring, um, but overall it was good. And um, I ended up in the emergency room on Tuesday evening because of chest pain. Um, I had experienced kind of similar chest pain before, but it only lasted like 30 seconds. And it was probably some indigestion or whatnot. Um, but this chest pain lasted hours. Um, it started shortly after lunch. I got home around... Um, 4.30 and decided, hey, I'm exhausted and my chest hurts. I'm going to lay down, see what becomes of it. Well, I lay down and the chest pain gets worse. So I look at the clock and it's 4.45, uh, 15 minutes before my doctor's office closes. So I call them and they just they eventually advise me to go into the emergency room to get a chest x-ray to make sure the device was in place, well, yada, 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 yada. So I get taken to the emergency room and... Within the first hour, I had an EKG, my blood drawn, triaged, and a chest x-ray done, and proceeded to sit in the ER after that for another, like, three hours, until they um, took me up to the emergency department and put me in a room. <clears throat> after I was in the room, um, they tell me that my white blood cell count was elevated, and um, asked me the same questions by about four different people, um, even though they were taking notes, so that was kind of frustrating. But um, they ended up doing an ultrasound of my heart and the, um, the second incision because of the high blood cell count, or high white blood cell count, um, and couldn't find any fluid. Uh, they wanted to make sure it wasn't infected, um, which was good that they couldn't find any fluid, but we didn't really have any answers. So, um, my, someone from my neurosurgeon's office came down and said, oh, your incisions look great, and then left. Um, and then I was expecting more tests after that because they didn't know what was going on. Um, but the nurse came in she, at like 
11.45 p.m. Oh, mind you, they wouldn't give me food because they didn't know if they weren't going to need to operate on me. So I hadn't eaten since lunch, and it was 11.40 p.m. when she comes in and says, we're going to discharge you. And I'm like, oh, I thought I had more tests to take. Um, and apparently not because they discharged me, took uh, my heart rate monitor leads off, but or lead wires off, but left the leads on. And I'm like, great, I have to take all of these leads off by myself. Um, and basically said, hey, you can leave whenever you want. So I got home around 15 minutes after midnight on Wednesday morning um, with a headache. Um, I was probably very much hangry and um, without any answers. And the IV that they put in, they put in over here which is at the absolute most painful IV I've ever had um, because the catheter is like this long and I can't hardly bend my arm when the, the knee, like the catheter goes in here. And so my arm hurt more than the chest pain at, at some point during the evening. And um, anyway, so I get home, my arm hurts, I'm tired, my head hurts because they had all these bright lights over me and I hadn't eaten and didn't get a drink anything. Um, so I ate a bowl of cereal and went to bed and then woke up and still had the headache, um, took some Motrin, took a nap, um, woke up again around eight and then ate another bowl of cereal and proceeded to regain my energy the rest of the day, um, which was much needed. I didn't go into work on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, it's been quite an eventful couple weeks. Um, and then I get to see my doctor again today, um, to be evaluated for um, changing the programming on the device. So this will be an interesting Monday, um, and I'm sure this whole cycle of getting used to the stimulation will start all over again, and then I get to see him again in two weeks. Um, until he's happy, that'll, that'll be what happens. So anyway, there's a short update. Um, I will give you another update after I get home today, and then we'll go from there. Um, thank you guys so much for listening and yeah, I'll give you an update. Have a good day. Bye.